Hi, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. Today, I'm in Hollywood. Not that Hollywood. Hollywood, South Carolina. I'm at uh, 7330 Mizell Road. We've got a little three bedroom, one bath, brick home, on about three quarter acre lot, be included in our next online auction. It needs clean, prep, paint, carpet, flooring, that type thing. So we're gonna head in and look at it. I encourage you to come look at this house. It is brick, so that makes it a solid choice to start with. Good luck, and let's see what we'll see. Okay, I've just stepped inside uh, Mizell Road, and as you can see, pretty good shape. Um, Walls aren't beat up. Look pretty good. Ceiling looks pretty good. Um, this is a concrete slab house. It did have some tile down on the floor. And now it's mostly back to concrete. So, all you gotta do is pop that tile up, put it on whatever you wanna do. Carpet and padding, more flooring, maybe some of that wood flooring I see people use. All right, while we got a good view of it, I'm walking to the kitchen. Uh, this is the laundry closet. Somebody's punched a hole in the wall. That take a little piece of sheet rock and probably fix that. Shouldn't be a big deal. That's the only thing I've really seen. They don't change their furnace filters in here. This is the kitchen. Let me walk over where we can get a good view of it. Um, it's been sitting, got a little moldy there, but that'll clean up real good. Um, room for a dining table here and there's a piece of molding missing off the back door i guess somebody kicked it in and i've got it secured now uh, they didn't put filters in their furnace so you can see where it blows out that dust so it'll be cleaned and painted and we'll need some flooring in here it's pretty well worn you can see by the sink stove where people had a traffic pattern all right we're going to head down the hall we've already talked about the laundry so we'll go right by it We'll turn left. This is a bedroom. Hey, same old story. Walls are slick, not a lot of damage here to mess with. That's a good thing. Know that somebody took care of it. Um, ceiling has that same problem. If you don't change those filters, they don't last for ever. I suppose change about once a quarter, I tell me. And just take this carpet right straight on to the dump. Um, doors look in good condition in that room. So go down. Uh, here's another bedroom. Same story here. Looks pretty good. There's something going on by the window over there. I'll go look at it. Ceiling, just that dirty spot where the heat vent is. This one had tile floor with carpet on top of it. So all that needs to do is just get that out of here. Let's see what that is. It looks like a little peeling of the paint. It don't have to be prepped before you paint it. That's all that is. But anyway, this room looks to be in pretty good shape too, but you know, when you spill some coke on the wall or something, it, it doesn't hurt to wipe it up. You don't have to let it dry permanent. All right, this is the last bedroom. If, the difference in the shade is somebody started painting this room and it might be like a house I bought one time. The man, the house looked good and we got in there. The guy moved out and we started to move in and he had painted around the furniture. So he had to go back in there and paint the walls. It was kind of funny. He'd paint right around the dresser but not behind it. <laughs> he was in a hurry. Hey, good walls in here, same story on the ceiling, uh, same story on the carpet. It's just dirty. All right, we do have a bath. You know, all the doors in here, I don't see any with holes punched in them or anything. Probably flooring, cleanup, fixtures, and that's tub pretty bad. You, you might wanna, I don't usually show you the tub, but this one's pretty rough. You probably count on a tub. All right, we're gonna head outside, take a quick look around. That's the inside tour. 
All right, here's a view of the front yard. It's got some of these pretty trees here. They just need trimming up a little bit, and the yard needs cleaning up. I'm gonna turn it around. This is the house. The uh, trim boards don't look that bad, but they've got a stain on them. You could probably clean those with a pressure washer and paint them. Good brick. Um, but just some of those nice oak trees that you see down here in the low country. And there's somewhat of a shed out there in the back. We're not gonna look at it. You can decide whether it needs to go or not. But look at this tree. If it could be trimmed and pruned, it'd look good. Got a little bit of trim work there. Could probably stand some attention. But a pressure washer would help this thing a lot. I think that back door, let's see, that's usually a utility room. Let me see if it's open. It is. There's your water heater and your power box good place to keep your lawnmower or something a few yard tools that's your uh hbac just need to trim these trees back a little bit get these uh leaves off that little uh house on the back there i believe that's a well house for your water process But this is a nice lot and this place would really look nice cleaned up i think there's more cleaning than anything paint and then some flooring might want to you could have put a few more cabinets in the kitchen if you thought you needed them but all in all this is not a bad house to start with it's brick that'll help you now, this is a foreclosure for a lender we're going to sell it to the highest bidder, regardless of price. All right, that's going to wrap us up here at Mizell Road in uh, Hollywood, South Carolina. As you can see, it's a pretty solid house, not tore up, beat up, just needs decorating. That's the way it is with most houses. Clean up the yard a little bit, trim a few limbs back, and I think somebody's going to have a good, solid house here. Use it for a rental, flip house, or move in it yourself. Now I want to leave you a couple of tips about the online auction. If you're a first time bidder, bid early in the process. Make sure your bidder number works. If you wait till the last minute, you're going to have problems, you put your stuff in wrong, it doesn't work, and then you're calling us and nothing we can do at the last minute. Also, read your contract package. It's under the uh, document section of your menu. This uh, contract package, it tells you about the buyer premium, the down payment you have to have on the deposit the day of the auction. You can pay for all of it that day if you want to, but the balance is due in 30 days. If you don't have the money, don't bid. If you don't have it lined up, don't bid. People uh, will have it happen every now and then. Somebody say, well, so-and-so promised me money, now they won't give it to me. Well, have it in your pocket before you bid. That just makes us have to do all kind of crazy things. All right. Uh, come to the inspection. The video is just for you to be able to look at the property and decide if you want to drive out here or not. It gives you an idea of what you'll see. But I'm not a home inspector. I just point out what I see real quick. Uh, I don't crawl under anything, over anything. So I want you to look it over and see how you decide you want to do this work on this house to have it uh, suit you. It's open usually 11 to 3, day before the bidding end. Nobody's going to be here at the premises to take your bid on auction day. All bidding's on the internet. The place to bid and buy is terryhow.com. We'll see you there. Listen, if you have questions, need assistance, give us a call. Our number's here at the bottom of the screen, or you can send us an email, info at terryhow.com. We want everything to go just right for you and our seller when this transaction's over. Thank you for watching the video, and we'll see you at the auction, online only.